So I've had to stop for five minutes. I'm heading out to that fish camp I was at in the last video. I've got a nice joint of beef to spit roast on that nice fire right next to the river. And also, we're expecting some sort of thunderstorm either tonight, early hours of tomorrow morning. So hopefully we'll get some of that on video too. Hi. Had to take my t-shirt off because it's absolutely soaking wet with sweat. So I'll dry that off for five minutes. Just down on the landslide just for a quick hydration and cool down. Got my fishing kit too, but I'm just gonna fish in the background, I think. Hoy the lines in and keep on checking on them. You don't need to see that. I'll show you if I catch out. Also picked up my really good spit roast pole. Yeah. Do the job for my beef. I'm gonna head back up to that spot now. That really nice dry wood. <laughs> oh, how bad am I? It's a, a, a bone dry dead tree in the middle of the river. And look, that's where I'm, I'm cramping. Over there. At least I'm sort of sheltered from the sun. It's a nice little bit to fish here too. Some of the world doesn't see very often. Me in shorts. <laughs> right. I'm gonna make this in two journeys. Check my bike across first. And my boots. And my spit roast ball. Fishing kit and my trousers and you guys this time. Man, it's so slippy at the sides. You gotta really watch what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Current there in the middle too. Results. That's the fire pit, people. It was built by somebody else. Two younger lads I seen uh, built this. Nice job on it too. And it's got a little uh, vent there. Which is quite cool. And that's what I'll be using for my spit roast beef. My backpack's the usual, apart from my clip two, because I've not been carrying the chest bag, because with the heat, you know, I'm limited to what I can carry out in here. And, you know, 30 degrees is, is uh, yeah. So I've got beef, a beef dinner for tea and lots of nice cakes and biscuits and everything. There's my boots and my, my fishing tackle bag and my tripod. 
got that one because all the other little alloy ones just keep on breaking so I've got stainless steel and paid a bit extra for it but totally worth it my trousers and my fishing kit I've got everything in there that I need this spit rose pole that George the teacher made us that'll be awesome absolutely awesome nice joint of beef too uh, for that see how far that tree is there look just thinking I might hoy you on a little bit of time lapse and go and have a gander <laughs> while I'm in my shorts Yeah, I tried that. The wood is absolutely solid and I can shake the whole tree, so I'm going to go back with my saw this time. Actually liking this working in the water like hey, I'm going back in for some more. Look at them nice bits of seasoned wood I got there. Two lads. There's like another three over there. I might just take you over with us this time, but maybe not, because I'm thinking about flipping that top tree off. See that one there? It's sitting on top of it and I'll give up to get access to the rest if I can get that off but it's big I love this dry wood. my camp over there I'm just down looking in these little cauldron bits down here it's 
missing a few right running when I would walk and trout. Which is good, I'm kind of staying away from the river up where I'm going to fish later on tonight. That calm bit, just out stroking everything else out and having a good old wander in the river. Getting some sun on my white legs. <laughs> It's got really dingy all of a sudden and the temperature's dropped. I think I may have to get some pants on. I made a little uh, sort of cove there in the hope that a fish might swim in and I can see. But I'll take it down again before I go. Just in the hope that something would swim in but I've had an out since I've done it. Also, I've got some nice firewood for tonight and found some cool rocks on this one. And then this weird one. Pretty cool. Lots of firewood and I've got more there off that tree up there. So I've left like one branch left on it. <sighs> oh, I've got the spit rust ball set up too while I've been eating jam tarts. Yes, it's almost coffee time. Fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> Little beef, son. Camp looks awesome. Look at that. <laughs> All my random stuff. I love this camp, it's so, so awesome. And yeah, I'm still wearing my shorts. After disappointing with my legs. <laughs>
at the string on my joint of beef now and just opened it up. And Still no fish. Gave up on the fish trap too thing, restored that. As you can see the the shape's gone. No sign of any rain or thunder yet. Sun's going down over there. I nearly dropped it there. <laughs> that would have been so bad and slightly disappointing of me. The sun's actually still above the brow. See it there? hidden by clouds before so there is some clouds coming in this beef's gonna be cooked before long eh? Oh, nice that's looking that brand new fire gloves compliments of my brother's girlfriend's dad appreciate it well, as you can tell things starting to flap around a little bit winds picking up slightly nothing to really discuss yet though <laughs> That beef is awesome. I'm going to start slicing bits off shortly and eating it. Still no fish. No fish. <laughs> and I've got my first coffee. Yeah. It's going to be head torch before long. I should catch a fish. Fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> My vegetables. Potatoes. Veg in there. <laughs> I have all my veg potatoes and my beef is looking really really sexy just uh, can't wait can't wait some Yorkshire's there that are extremely flat <laughs> been stuck in my bag crushed in my bag more like
done. I've reeled in for the night, full of beef, and uh, yeah, I had a Swiss chocolate Swiss roll cake. It's quite awesome. Just chilling in my hammock, right next to the fire. I've put my tarp right round us now. I'll show you that in the morning, just in case we do get a random thunderstorm, but by the looks of it, I don't think we are. We'll see in a couple of hours. Whoa, some cracks of thunder. Oh. Morning. I'm just chilling in my hammock listening to the thunder. <laughs> I'm flooding, I'm flooding, oh damn. I knew there was a reason I woke up this morning. <laughs> Look at that for rain. Bone dry in my hammock. Guys, that's everything restored to when I, same as when I got it, yeah? Pretty much just that fire pit. With us back to normal. Rain stopped, thunder's gone. Hi. I've got my socks and pants there for after I've made the river crossing. My river shoes.
patch of wild daisies. Yeah. I'm uh I watched back that clip with that near miss with that tree because the root was so heavy it was like seesawing on the branch and obviously I had to push it up with that stick in order to get the height to push it off but I didn't expect it to come down like it was going to do I thought it was going to go the root was going to fall off the bottom and it was going to angle and it would have been standing up straight but it didn't work like that but yeah it's still quite funny to watch back and I scream like a woman when I'm splashed with the cold water. <laughs> it's quite impressive that there's not a single puddle, is there? After all that rain. Although my legs are wet from walking through the vegetation. I've, uh, oh yeah, no food bag. Uh, I've, I've ditched the food bag this week, sort of, in the hope that the less weight I carry, the more chance my ankle will get it to heal. Because I'm still getting a little bit of hassle from it. So I've had to slow down. But it's it's healing and the, the swelling's gone completely now. So just take it easy for another week and I'll be sweet. Still looking for good fishing spots every time I walk by these spots. For a shot. Got one finally. Just coming out of the water. Something I don't see every week. It's a good size too. Oh, it's spotted us. <laughs> it's been fun again. Most definitely enjoyed working the river and the mini thunderstorm this morning. We'll catch you all again on the next one.